So you want to buy a caravan, you've decided what layout you want, you know what manufacturer you want, and you've set a budget. And let's just say that your budget will allow you to buy the top of the range of a specific manufacturer. Just because you got it in your budget, should you actually just automatically get the top of the range caravan? Or is the entry level caravan perfectly good for your needs? Um, and how much, uh, where is the money spent with a price difference? So we have a Bailey. I know more about Bailey caravans than I do any other caravan. And now I'm going to do a comparison on the Unicorn, which is what I'm sitting in now, and the, uh, the Unicorn Cabrera and the Phoenix 640 because they're very similar layouts. I'll put a bit up there so you can see them side by side. Um, I put the Phoenix at the top and the uh, Unicorn at the bottom. The bottom. And as far as size goes, they're very similar. And I'll pick, I'll pick these two caravans because they have a very similar layer and they're very similar size. So they're both 7.3 meters long, island beds, middle bathrooms. You'll see, see here, they are very similar. Now there is a five and a half thousand pound difference. So the Unicorn is five and a half thousand pound more than basically the equivalent Phoenix, which is the entry level caravan from Bailey. Although I don't think they really like calling them entry level caravans. I don't know what else you'd call them really. So we've obviously gone for the Unicorn. Um, so what what went through our minds when we selected the Unicorn over the entry level caravan? The main things that we liked with the Unicorn over the entry level, um, things like, uh, there's some slight differences on the external look of the caravan. Now not that that would sway you one way or the other, but here's the things specifically that we liked. Firstly, the blinds, as I'm sitting here, the blind. So you get these, Pleated block. These are considered uh, more luxurious and they probably work a bit better and they've got um, also a pleated fly screen there. Again, a personal thing, uh, I'll show you in a minute. We have um, the kitchen blind is uh, uh, just a roller blind, flat roller blind. Now, one thing, although they may be more luxurious and feel nicer, the other ones might be better if you've got kids. A kitchen one is wipe clean one, so if you could spill anything from it, you can just wipe it clean. So, just because it's um, better, as in more expensive, more luxurious, doesn't mean it's necessarily better for you. Um, better for us because we don't have kids and they're not going to get poked at and spilt on. Now, a couple of things with the exterior of the van um, you do get things with the unicorn, you do get things like the um, external 230 volt socket, external satellite connection point external barbecue point now these although you know you can live without them we like them we like to plug things in outside and you could run leads and stuff but the external barbecue point is very important for us because we do a lot of cooking on the Kadak and just plug it in and you don't need to fiddle about with gas bottles just taps there now obviously you can retrofit these things and here if I just show you hopefully it'll be light enough here we have pockets that are attached with Velcro, <laughs> not very well by the looks of it, in here where you can put things and charge up from a USB point here and put your iPad in there. Now you don't get that kind of thing with the entry level van. So you get domestic soft clothes hinges, so like these cupboards here, now I won't um, show you but you, they are soft clothes. In the kitchen you get a built in wine rack that you don't get with the uh, but Phoenix. In the shower there's a a hook to hang your towel up. Actually, I'll show you. So here we are in the bathroom. As you can see there, this is a hook that you can hang your towel on. Now this is, you get this with the unicorn, but don't get it with the, so there's little things like this. But while I'm in the bathroom, actually, I'll show you the sink. Now this sink is, I don't know, I mean, this is something I, I would actually prefer the other sink, but I don't like these. Um, you can't really wash in them. And with the shelf there, it's very difficult. Anyway, so th this is a bit more, it's considered more stylish. Continuing on with the toilet, in here you get a little recess to put your toilet rolls in. It's little things, I think. Uh, the toilets may be different, maybe the flush isn't there. Again, I will double check that. And some of the kind of more important items, for me anyway, were uh, get a 100 watt solar panel fitted, get up to four USB uh, connections, two TV points, you only get one in the entry level. So now the cooker, you get um, three gas burners and one electric 
hob as well. Now these are some of the more important things. You get ATC uh, traction control system, which helps with the stability of the caravan. Now that is an optional on the Phoenix of about um, nearly 500 pounds, I think, I saw. Uh, you get Alco shock absorbers, you get the tire pressure management, tire pressure management, management, tire pressure monitor system, TPMS. Alco caravan jack, you get the Alco secure uh, wheel lock. Um, a tracker with a Cat7 approved stolen vehicle recovery system. Tracker PAR activated intruder alarm, so yeah, there are um, sensors down there. Now one of the big things I haven't mentioned that yet is the heating. So this van, the Unicorn, comes with all the heating, whereas the Phoenix would be blown air. Now we've had both blown air and now out of heating. And I have to say, probably five and a half thousand pounds, I'm a bit over the top saying this, but I think Alder heating on its own is worth the difference because it's just so much better. It's so much more um, of an even even temperature. It heats up fairly quickly. Now we had the blown air with the electric fire and ga electric and gas fire. We can never get it warm at the back of the van. It had a rear bathroom as this one has, and that rear bathroom was always chilly. So that's about all I've got to say about that. If you've be interested to know, as always, interested to know your thoughts. Five and a half thousand pounds, is that a lot for the top of the range caravan as opposed to the entry level Phoenix? For us, it was worth it. Um, it is, like I say, like with the single and twin axle, it's a, definitely a personal choice thing. So there you go, that's the end of that video. Um, hope you enjoyed it, a thumbs up if you did. Um, you can subscribe if you like as well. We like subscribers. And if you do already subscribe, thank you very much. Uh, there'll be a button there. I'm going to put all my money on it being in that corner there. You never know. Might be completely wrong. But if I am wrong, I can just flip the screen so I'll be alright. Thanks again for watching. Thanks again for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. See you in the next one. Thank you.